this just came in purchased it so that I have so that I can have more light in my garage at night when I'm uh, working on something right now the garage is filled it's got stuff in it but eventually it'll be uh, emptied out and uh, I purchased this to give me even more light the light in there is not too bad but I'd like it to be better so I'm hoping this makes it even brighter the whole box this one that comes with uh, sensors yeah this um and this should be more in energy energy efficient or to save me more money than the bulbs I have in there now. I'm actually thinking of putting this in the basement. If they're really that bright. Let's open it up. It's an on and off timer. So they sell one of these with a sensor. Yeah, I think that's what it is. It's a sensor. And I purchased the regular one that you just plug in and turn on and off with the switch. Instruction manuals. I put this at the end. I mean, how hard could it be? You just screw it in. This is metallic. Plastic, LEDs, screw on, plastic. So this is it closed. Let me just give you a good shot of that so you can see. And then this is it open. So just to give you an idea how far it opens in the center to the end, it's about seven inches. I'm just roughing it, eyeing it. It's about seven inches. See, so you gotta have the space for that. You gotta have, let me see, clearance of at least nine inches, as I see here. Thickness, it looks like from the actual light itself. Uh, it's about two and a half inches from top to bottom. From the bottom of that, it's nice looking. Can't wait to try it. Right now I have a dual plugged in uh, outlet uh, socket. You know, I have an, a Y adapter that allows me to plug in two bulbs in a one bulb socket. So I'm hoping to replace that with this to be more energy efficient. I bought it in one of the deals, the daily deals that they had. I think it runs about 40 or 50 and I think I paid about $30 for it. I always wanted one, I just didn't want to pay the money for it. So. I'm hoping this one works. All right, let's try it out in the garage. Let me show you how my garage looks at night. Then I'll uh, plug it in and uh, we'll see if it works. This is what I'm replacing in the garage. As you can see, the one in the left was an insect one. It doesn't work very well. And the one in the right is an Ikea bulb. This is the second one I have on the other side. This is in the back of the garage. 
They are 150 watt, uh, the new energy efficient ones. I don't know how much wattage they use. They don't use that much, but I'm putting this in my uh, basement and I'm gonna try out the new lights in the garage. It's daytime right now. This is how they look in the daytime. I angled them up a little bit. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to keep them. Just want to see how they look so that they can get to every corner of the garage. And see how they work. Um, I purchased LED lights for sensor lights. I did a video on that also. And they work really well. I mean, it's like daytime outside. One morning in the basement. One morning, about 3 o'clock in the morning, I thought it was morning I thought it was like six in the morning and I went upstairs and I saw that it was still dark out it happened to be the light went on and through the basement windows it looked like it was daytime they look nice they don't look like bulbs they're very strange looking I don't think anybody could will be able to tell what it is uh, maybe I'm not sure let's try them out at night see if they're keepers I hope they're keepers I want them to last a long time and I want to pay less for electricity. Okay, we're in the garage. Now let's see if the lights are like a thousand percent better than the previous lights or the same thing. It's bright. It's, uh, as I look right away, it's just a wider light. It's more of a daylight light so it's brighter that way that's the LED and there's three of them like I said and you could kind of tilt them in different directions the other one is over there so so tilting in this area tilting it up tilting it down so that's a nice thing I can tilt it up and get more light in certain areas so that's pretty cool look at that just tilt it downward tilt it up yeah I think I'm gonna leave it like that so it's um better more options more things I could do with them I like them and I'm gonna keep them plus the LEDs are supposed to last forever so, I guess this will be the end of the video. I hope this video helps. Thank you. Bye.